All right, guys, the last thing we want to talk about here in 8.1 is types of errors. All right, and then we'll go over some examples of that. So we have two types of errors. We call them type one errors and type two errors. So really there are two things that can happen when we make a mistake when we're doing these things. And it's not necessarily that we make a mistake. It's just we got a sample that was not, not one of those samples that we really wanted to get. All right, so we draw conclusions from a significance test. We hope our conclusion will be correct, but sometimes it will be wrong. There are two types of mistakes we can make, type one and type two. Type one is if we reject the hoe when the hoe is really true. So we rejected a true hoe. Oops, all right, because if a hoe is true, we shouldn't reject it, all right? And that is what we call a type one error. A type two error is when we fail to reject the hoe but the hoe is actually false. In other words, the alternative is true. All right, so here's my little handy table over here to, to try and explain what's going on here. So we have the truth here, truth about the population. So either the hoe is true or the hoe is not true. The alternative is true. In other words, the hoe is false. All right, so then we have two conclusions that we can make. We can reject the hoe or we can fail to reject the hoe. All right, so if the hoe is true and we reject the hoe, that's a type one error, all right? Because we should have the correct thing to do here is fail to reject the hoe. If the hoe is true, we don't want to reject it. All right, now the other thing that can happen is, well, if the alternative is true and we reject the hoe, we've done the correct thing. If the alternative is true, but we've failed to reject it, our sample just wasn't the right sample to do it, that's called a type two error. All right, note, the probability of making a type 1 error in a significance test is exactly equal to the significance level alpha. All right, so the way I remember this is that the type 1, type 1 error, the first hypothesis is true. And the first hypothesis is H0. All right, so then the error would be to reject H0. For the type two error, the way I remember it is that the second hypothesis is true. In other words, the alternative hypothesis is true. And then the thing that would be a, a mistake, what we'd be doing wrong for the error there would be failing to reject the hoe. Right, so that's how I remember it, is if the first one, first hypothesis is true and we do the wrong thing by rejecting it, it's a type one error. The first thing is wrong. If the second hypothesis is true, the alternative hypothesis is true, and we fail to reject the hoe and go with the alternative hypothesis, that's making a type two error. All right, so here's an example. So a potato, potato chip producer and its main supplier agree that each shipment of potatoes must meet certain quality standards. If the producer determines that more than 8% of the potatoes in the shipment have blemishes, which are like spots on the outside of the potatoes, the truck will be sent away to get another load of potatoes from the supplier. Otherwise, the entire truckload will be used to make potato chips. To make the decision, a supervisor will inspect a random sample of 500 potatoes from the shipment. The producer will then perform a test at the alpha equals 5% or 0 0.05 significance level of these two hypotheses. So that the, the hypothesis, the null hypothesis is that the proportion of lemises is equal to 8%. The alternative is that it's greater than 8%, where P is the true proportion of potatoes with blemishes in a given truckload. Describe a type one and type two error in this setting and give a possible consequence of each. So there's an and part here. This is what they like to do on the AP exam. So type one error. So remember for the type one error, the null hypothesis is true, but we reject it. All right, so that would mean the true proportion of blemishes on the potatoes is 8% or less, I guess would be.
okay too. But we conclude the wrong thing that the P is greater than 8%. All right, so we're making a mistake here. And then what would happen is if we conclude it's greater than 8%, then we're going to throw away the truckload. And so we will throw away, T-H-R-O-W, away a truckload of potatoes that we should have used. All right, so we're just kind of wasting some money there. I mean, it's not like anyone's dying or anything, but we're wasting some money there. All right, the other type of error, the type two error. All right, so now remember for the type two error, our second hypothesis, our alternative hypothesis is true but we choose to go with our first one. So, but we fail to reject that the P is equal to 0 0.08, All right? So that, that is our mistake. The, the actually more than 8% have blemishes, but we decide that, no, oh, this is a good set of potatoes, All right? We got a bad sample out of that one, apparently. All right, so that would mean that the true proportion with blemishes is greater than 8%, but we conclude, or we concluded, or conclude, there we go. The true proportion is not different from 8%. So we use a bad truck or a bad load or a bad truck load of potatoes. So we're using potatoes that we shouldn't use and we're gonna get some bad potato chips out of this. All right, so this one, we probably could end up getting sued. You know, like we're, we're using bad potatoes, we're getting bad potato chips. For the original one, for this one, I mean, we're throwing away stuff that we probably could have used, but no one's gonna end up getting hurt out of that. We're just losing some money. This one, the type two error, someone could end up getting hurt here. All right, so let's take another look at this. So Mr. Robeson claims that he makes 80% of his Trasky ball shots. So that means our null hypothesis is that I, P equals 80. You think that it is probably less. So your alternative hypothesis is that it's less. What would be a type 2 error? So if we want to find the error types, we have to write out what the hypotheses are. All right, so now, now that we know what the hypotheses are, the type 2 error is when the second hypothesis is true. So P is actually less than 0 0.08. But we fail to reject the null hypothesis. That is the mistake that we make. We go ahead and we say that P is yeah, roughly equal to 80. All right, so let's see. Fail to reject Mr. Robeson's claim even though it's false. Yeah, that's right, because this is this is false. So that means this would be true. This one would be false. Yep, that's what we want right there. All right, if you want to go in and write true and false for these error types in there, and that helps you, more power to you. All right, so that is it for types of error. So that's it for this section, 8.1. Check out the homework on Google Classroom.